What's up, y'all? I woke up this morning thinking about Vince Carter. I know it's weird to say, but he was a part of my dream. I had a dream that the NBA season did not start back until October 4th. October 4th. And in my dream, they were doing this whole ceremony for Vince Carter. This made me think that, man, Vince Carter's about to retire, y'all. He's about to retire. So I decided that it's time to react to, I guess, his 40 best plays in his career. Let's get it. Link in the description. This is made by Maximilian711. I feel like I know this guy, even though I don't, because I just seen so many of his highlight reels. He always brings the fire. The best things about highlights to me is when I can hear the call. Like, I know a lot of people make these mixtapes and then they put their own songs behind it. I just watched one that had Drake. Um, I know way too many people here right now that I didn't know. That's not fun to me. I want to hear the call, especially with a guy like Vince Carter, who's dunking on people. I need to hear what the announcers are saying. And Maximilian always does that. So I expect nothing less from this video. Link is in the description. Show him some love. One of the best highlight creators out there. Shout out to my boy GD Zemo. It's a lot of them guys. Dawkins, all them guys be coming in clutch for us at this time. In our time and need, these guys are coming in clutch. Now, Vince Carter. Um... One of the best in-game dunkers of all time. He always gave the fans something to look at look at when you were watching them play. 360 in-game. Now, I saw this documentary a few years ago on Netflix, and hopefully it's still there for y'all. It was about Vince Carter's career, mostly in Toronto. If you do not know the story, they were getting ready for Game 7 in the playoffs against the, I want to say it was the 76ers. It's been a few years since I've seen this documentary. I want to say it was like A-ass 76ers. And before the game, he went to his college graduation. So a lot of Raptors fans saw this as like, man, you don't care about the game. You're flying from Toronto down, down there, and then you come back for this game, and then you end up losing, and then that's where the marriage of him and Toronto kind of kind of ended. I recommend the documentary. Hopefully it's still on Netflix for y'all. All right, let's see how this goes. Another Vince Carter dunk. I know that a lot of you young guys may just see these highlights and think he was just like a high-flying dunker. Okay, here's the game winner right here. He was way more than that. He was way more than that. And my goal, because I know everybody watching this video didn't get to see Vince Carter in his prime. My goal with these type of videos, I did it with Joe Johnson, I'm doing it now, is for y'all to realize how good some of these players were. To understand how good some of these players are. I, I need to get me a T-Mac video going because a lot of y'all forget. And this is a game-winning dunk. And not even just a game winning dunk. Hold on, let me go back a little bit. Let me go back a little bit. That is Hakeem Olajuwon. Hakeem Olajuwon didn't even want to jump. The, the game is on the line here. But Hakeem Olajuwon didn't want to jump. Again, this, this is like, I guess Hakeem Olajuwon is pretty old in this clip. But you get what I'm saying? He didn't even want to jump because he knew you, you don't want to end up on a poster and lose a game. So you pick one or the other. <laughs> and he picked the loss. Man, Vince Carter was electric. He had teammates that would do stuff like that. Just throw it up to him. When you saw him, you better have gave him the ball in the fast break or we're going to be mad. And we see that nowadays with, like, Zach Levine. If Zach Levine is on a break and Tomas Sadoransky doesn't pass in the ball, I'm mad. Because I know that Zach Levine is going to give me something to watch. And same thing with Vince Carter. I know Vince Carter was going to give me something to watch. He's double team, right? No, he didn't. Oh, the difficulty. The difficulty on that, I've never seen that pass before. Oh my god. And this is that series, I'm pretty sure. This is early in that series. The man is just ridiculous. Hang time between two defenders. The spatial awareness, you know, oh, that's Ben Wallace. Don't jump, Ben. That's defense play to you, Ben Wallace. Even though Ben Wallace and <laughs> Vince Carter like the same height. No, he didn't just do that. No, he didn't just do that to Tim Duncan. No, he didn't. Literally. I, I, I can't. I got nothing to say. I'm lost at words. Tim Duncan just hurt on that, on that one. 360 layup over and one. Just a bad, bad man. I wish this man would have got a championship. Because though he's a, he's going to be a Hall of Famer. He's going to be a Hall of Famer without his championship. That's very that's like Zion blocked him earlier this season. Even though he will be a Hall of Famer without a doubt, adding a championship to his resume would have been great. And one thing I can respect, 360. Mm. One thing I can respect about Vince Carter is that he never went chasing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish he would have, but I can respect the fact that he didn't go chasing. He's been in the league or kind of like 
old in the league for like four years now. And instead of going to a championship team, he's like, I'm going to stay in Atlanta and help these young guys. I, I mess with that heavy. I mess with that heavy. Oh, all-star game. Off the back going to himself. Yes, sir. I remember this year. I remember this year. Tim Duncan didn't want to get in the way this time. He's like, it's not worth it for an all-star game. Oh, don't. Alonzo Morning. Don't jump. Yeah, you, you're a brave man if you're jumping when you see Vince Carter coming. You're a brave, brave man because it's not many times you're going to block this man's shot at the rim. And I don't even mind the super grainy footage because you know you can see that he's doing some ridiculous stuff and he revved up on him. He revved up on him. Against his former team and Toronto. And Toronto. They was booing him this game, y'all. They were booing him this game. And then he hit the game winner in Toronto. Come on, man. On national TV, deep three. That's the is that the glove guarding him? Granted, the gloves probably super old back then, but yep. Simple. It is the glove and Alonzo Mourning. Buckets and Wade is on the court right there. Uh huh. End of the quarter, half court, all net. Like he been practicing that his whole life. Like he been practicing that his whole life. I mess with Vince Carter's shoes too. I never had a pair. They're kind of bulky. Once, who is that? Is that Nocioni? That's Nocioni. What are you doing? Why? Why? Now that's on your career highlight reel. Anyway, like I was saying about the shoes, I like them. They just super bulky. You just gotta remember the man that's playing in the early 2000s. Every shoe in the early 2000s is big as hell. And it's just like, that's the way they hoop. For the win. Triple T. There was three white jerseys around him. And instead of passing the ball, <laughs> he's like, I'm just going to take this from almost half court and drain it. Another one. Ooh. That wasn't even him shooting. He said, I'm going to get the game winning tip dunk. Tip dunk. Good pass. Good pass. What a great connection that was back in the day, man. Two of the greatest right there. And I think I just saw Mickey Moore on the court. And Toronto again. Just destroying them. Just destroying them. <laughs> Boo him all you want. He's one of the best players in your franchise history. And this is OT. And Toronto. Oh, my God. The fans are sick to their stomachs. Sick to their stomachs. Okay. Against ATL. At home. Too deep. Didn't matter. What? A lot of these clips I haven't seen before, or I haven't seen them in a super long time. So we all experiencing this for the first time. Uh-oh. Orlando is still pretty special for him too. And now when we get to Orlando, the footage is gonna look a lot better. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna look a lot better in Orlando. And even, bro, I forgot about the Phoenix Times, bro. And at this point, he's old again. You know what I'm saying? He's old, and he's still doing his thing. And then Dallas. Did he play for, I wanna say, Six teams? Seven teams? Mm. Sometimes he still is half man, half amazing. There's Dirk on the floor, but instead we get a we get a Vince Carter game winner. Oh, and he's got one in the playoffs, if I'm not mistaken. Did he get one in the playoffs for Dallas? Bro, tell me. I, I don't know my head. Stop disrespecting me. I know my history here. I knew he had one in the playoffs. Wait, is this the playoffs? Now that I'm looking at this, this may not have been the playoffs. Is this the playoffs? Actually, I don't think this is the playoffs. I don't think that was the playoffs. I thought he had one in the playoffs. Well, now like a fool again. Anyway. On Rudy Gobert. That's a young Rudy Gobert, but that's a dunk on him. It don't matter. That is so crazy. Full court heave. That is that is amazing. Half man, half that. Oh. Mm. Come on, man. This video was released um, like three years ago, so you don't have any of his Atlanta Hawks stuff. But nonetheless, that, that's all you really need to see from Vince Carter.
you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, man. We'll be back. Bye, 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 bye.